Hello everyone, thanks for joining me for yin yoga today. Um, I have in mind a practice for the seventh main energy centers chakras from our seat up towards the top of the head. And um, so we'll designate um, one or two poses to each center, to each chakra. And we'll talk a little bit about them as we stay in the pose. And the intention is to bring some awareness into the inner layers and bring awareness into our feelings, our intuition, and into a deeper layer of ourselves that can help us to stay tuned in and alert and um, yeah, very intuitive actually. So we'll do just that. We'll take a comfortable seat in happy pose or Sukhasana, Siddhasana, however you like to see seat. Um, maybe you're crossing your ankles. <clears throat> and we are going to start by just simply slowing the breath down and taking it through the whole body. And especially seeing if we can take it all the way down towards the seat and all the way up towards the top of the head. And we might even start to find a more connective breath for us. Maybe it feels like we can connect even into the heart of earth and all the way up towards the heart of source. So we'll start with seven breaths together. Um, nice and easeful. You can take your ujjayi breaths, your ocean breaths, um, make a sound in the back of your throat, breathe through the nose, um, calming the mind. You can also breathe through the mouth or you can just breathe in a nice easeful way that works for you. So let's um, close our eyes. And we'll take seven rounds together. Take it a nice, big, deep inhale. And exhale with the intention of bringing awareness in towards our root chakra, where we have the connection into family, community, sense of self-worth, sense of belonging. Second inhale. And exhale, bringing awareness into the second chakra, our sacral chakra, into the center of feelings, expressiveness, creativity, into the center of reproductive organs, sexual organs. And the next inhale. And exhale with the intention of flushing through and bringing awareness to the third energy center, the third chakra, the solar plexus chakra, where we have our willpower, where we have the fire going, where we have our determination of making things happen in a nice, easeful, calm way. Fourth inhale. And exhaling into the center of the heart, into the heart center, into Anahata Chakra, where we have our circulatory system, where we have the heart, the lungs, and the feelings of empathy, and of course the love, and the circular torus system that feeds us with oxygen through the entire body. And inhale. And exhale with intention to the fifth energy center, the fifth chakra, the throat chakra, the center of sound, the center of hearing, the center of, of speaking our truth, the center of expressing ourselves with our sound center in a nice, connected, peaceful way. And inhale. And exhale 
with the intention to our sixth energy center, the intuition center, the Ajna chakra, where we have our intuition, the center of ideas, the center of connecting, the center of seeing, um, the center of sharing ideas with other and of course picking up all the information that's appropriate for us and and working with that and letting it sip through all the other chakras and coming into manifestation in through the root center take a nice big inhale and exhale with a sense of knowing that we are connected to the heart of source through the very crown chakra, through the top of the head and above through Sahasrara chakra where we get information downloads and we just are practicing today to make sure that all of our centers are nicely open so that we can hear the information that is um, specifically meant for us and from here we are going to come into our um, first root chakra pose which is taking our feet wide apart into straddle pose you might have uh, blankets or blocks um, handy by you might have your pillow for straddle pose where you could um, relax forward and you can prop yourself up in a way that works for you and we just make sure that our legs are relaxed that the muscles are relaxed that our toes are relaxed and that the seat is relaxed and that we are with intention sitting in this pose um, passively uh, with intention to ground into the seat and open the pathways from the very bottom of the seat, uh, from the perineum, um, all the way out the legs and the feet and having a sense of being able to connect and feel more grounded and feel um, safe and feel um, belonging and feeling um, comfortable in just being with ourselves. And the color that the first chakra is associated with is red. So you might have some red vividly coming by your third eye or your eyes as we are enjoying another 15 breaths right here. You can turn your head one side and I'll prompt you halfway through and we can turn it the second side. Letting the pathways in the lower back open up so that the back of the legs can open up. Clearing the pathway in towards the feet. Full root chakra opening and turning and churning. And gently move your head to the second side if you had your head turned. We'll have another three breaths here.
and gently make your way up from here and taking your props away and I'm going to switch my props out to a block underneath my sacrum. We're moving up to the second chakra, the sacral region, by elevating the, the hips up towards the, um, just not necessarily to the sky, but yeah, they do get elevated a little bit. Um, you might have a pillow, you might have a thick book, something that will make you be able to dig a little bit deeper in towards or just simply feel your um, hip flexors in your lower belly area. We could lay right here on the floor and bring your right knee in and extend your left leg. This is perfect right here. If you wanted something different, then you can take your block underneath your sacrum the flattest way. Take your right knee into the chest and we get to stay here for about 20 breaths as we bring awareness and opening and turning and churning energies in the appropriate way for our body to communicate with our mind um, into our sacral chakra the Svadhisthana, where we have the flow, where we have the creativity, and the color orange is represented. So you might go inward, and while you do that, you might be able to connect with the orange color. I'm breathing into it. being as passive as we can. Opening the healthy pathways, upper and lower body, making sure that the energies are flowing evenly in the sacral region, which is a nice flow of energy that can go down towards the sacral, towards the tailbone and out through the legs and out the feet for clearing pathways. Take another three breaths on this side. switch to the second side, extending the right leg out, continuing with your knee to chest pose, whether you're on a block or if you're on the floor with your seat or your sacrum, making sure that it's a comfortable stretch, an easeful stretch for you in towards the very lowest part of the belly, in towards the sacral region and connecting back in to that space and with intention clearing and cleaning the second chakra with just laying passively in our yin yoga pose. Relaxing our toes and letting the muscles be heavy. 
making sure that we are enhancing the flow in the body, that the second chakra is, um, stands for and is embodying. We'll have another three breaths here. And gently release your legs and <clears throat> take your block away from underneath you. We're going to move right into our third chakra pose by coming over onto the left side and bringing your knees one on top of the other and maybe pulling the knees in a little bit. Taking your arms out, palms together for supine twist. We're going to open the right arm up and over towards the right side. And you might have a block for your arm back there. You might have a pillow, something comfortable so you passively can comfortably lay onto the side. Mm. And see if you can have your knees one on top of each other and the hips stack and the twist happens from the bottom of the, um, bottom of the ribs and the belly and we're turning in towards our third chakra where we have our um, fire, the power energy center, the power of the will, where we, where we turn and churn from the grounding energies below, um, from the air above into whatever we are having the desire to do or be or, um, or have um, in our lives. So we'll Take a nice big supine twist um, to st stabilize and to neutralize and to make sure that our um, digestive system gets a massage and that um, our digestive system works in a nice, even, flowy way. And that way our third energy chakra, the Manipura, can work in a harmonious way for us. And the color that it is associated with and represents is the color yellow, bright, nice yellow. You might have that in your mind as we take another 10 breaths here on this side. You can have your head turn um, to the left side if that feels best for your neck. You can also have your head turned all the way over towards your right arm.
slowly coming over to the second side, bringing the arms in, knees up to the sky. And bring yourself over onto the left side of the mat and then tip yourself over onto the right side. Bring your knees into the chest. Take your arms out towards the right side, palms together. Stack your knees and then take your left arm up and over. And hike around your shoulder on the right side until you feel like you have a good comfortable place. You might have a block or something underneath for your left wrist, like so. Maybe that feels better. And so whatever feels comfortable for you. making sure that the pose targets right below the ribs, between the ribs, and in the whole area of the belly too. Making sure that we are having a nice, easeful, comfortable, healthy twist for our third chakra to turn and enhance the pathways from the upper to the lower body, making sure that it flows evenly. Color yellow, bright yellow is associated with a third energy center, the chakra called Manipura, the jewel. And possibly just laying in the pose and knowing that it does the work for us. We don't have to do anything besides just find this shape and simply just lay in it. Take another three breaths here. And gently move your way over to the center. And from here, we are going to um, come over to one side and then make your way up to a seat to find, or you don't even have to find a seat, just finding either your pillow or your blocks for supported backbend. We are moving up to our fourth chakra energy center, the heart center, um, where we have the heart and the lungs and they work closely together to keeping us fed with energy, life force, prana, um, and the feeling of connecting with others in the center of the heart. So we want to give it some attention to support it from the back with the bottom block right below the shoulder blades and then having the head supported on the block on the, um, on the back side of the head. So the back of the heart gets lifted 
and the back of the head has a nice support and the arms can come out to the side. Now this can also certainly be done on a pillow or two, anything that feels comfortable for you. You can, um, you can use thicker books as well. You can also have your knees bent or you can take your legs out and let your toes relax out to the side and your arms are relaxed and your fingers are relaxed. And we are bringing some health and vitality and space um, to the heart center, to Anahata center. And it is associated with a color of a bright, light green, it's a beautiful kind of, um, I think about birch, birch leaves, um, when I think about the heart center color, which also really is the color where oxygen comes from. So we'll just take some nice breaths, laying here and lifting layers from the heart center that sometimes can weigh us down. Sometimes it gets stuck in the heart center. And then we'll just lift it up and, and let it kind of come to the surface and we'll exhale it out and away. And then knowing that we are opening the heart center in a nice, um, appropriate turning way that's perfect for our being, then we also open the pathways down into the digestive center with an appropriate amount of oxygen and blood into the digestive tract and system and organs and then into the flow and in towards the uh, grounding of the body. So we'll just stay right here knowing that they all are a nice gateway from one to the other of the chakra system. and the heart is the gateway um, from the three upper chakras and it transfers energy into the three bottom chakras. So it's nice to know that we're doing ourselves a favor by doing a heart opening pose that will help to feed energy and life force to the three bottom centers and helping them to work in a nice harmonious way for us. And we'll stay here for another 10 breaths. Three more breaths. And slowly move your toes and fingers, support yourself in the side of the body and bring your head up, chin in towards the chest and come to a comfortable seated position. Blocks can come to the side. I'm going to just cross our legs. I'm going to put my 
pillow as a like a little lift for my sacrum and then my lower back feels really happy it's a little chilly where i am so i'm gonna wrap myself up um for my legs and we're gonna move up to the throat chakra to our um i like to call the sound system um, and it's called vishuddha where we express ourselves with our words with singing however it comes out in a nice truthful kind way and it's of course feet step course in towards the heart center the breath center and all the way down so we'll make sure that the words come kindly because then it affects the digestive system it affects our creativity and it affects our uh, manifestation of our projects of our being, of our um, things that we have in mind to kind of push through and see in our future. So we'll um, either we'll sit just like this and take the left ear towards the left shoulder and you can also be right here. It's a perfect um, stretch and it's a perfect way to give some attention to the neck, to the throat center. If you wanted to, you can take eagle arms shoelace arms, um, right arm underneath, and then still having your head over towards your left side. And just relaxing, sitting as passive as we can. Softening, breathing, the color bright blue might show up. It's associated with the throat center. three breaths here undo your arms if you had them crossed and then take your left hand and help your head up to upright and sending it over to the second side for a seated neck stretch. Excellent way to feel the groundness um, from the throat and all the way down through the heart, the belly, the sacral and the seat, the root. And if you cross your arms on your second, on your first side, maybe you want to cross them again into your eagle arms or shoelace arms. And letting your right ear come down towards your right shoulder.
letting the breath pass with ease through the throat. Take another three breaths here. Gently release your arms if you have them crossed. Take your right hand to help your head upright so you don't have to strain any muscles to lift your head back up after that nice neck opening. Moving on from the throat chakra over towards our third eye. And you might have your pillow or you might not have anything. You might take your child's pose. Um, on the belly and you might make a little fist out of your hands, a little tower of your hands. If you need the support, take the pillow at the belly and you can still put your third eye with awareness down in towards the pillow or your hands. I'm gonna bend my arms to the side. I'm gonna have my knees a little wider because it feels good for my hips. So see what works for you. Maybe it feels better to have your knees more forward. So kind of just check and see where you're at and take your third eye to your yoga mat or to your hands or to a pillow. Bringing awareness to our intuition center. Where we can see clearly our path if we tune in and switch on the knobs for the intuition. It's right there. It gives us st constant information on, on suggestions of our like easiest path to take to go where we are supposed to go and do what we're supposed to do. The color that's associated with the third, uh, with the um, sixth chakra is deep royal blue. So we'll hang out with that color and bathe in that for the next 15 breaths or so. As we are as relaxed as we can and it's appropriate for our forward fold here.
another five breaths here. gently take your hands to the sides and come up onto all fours. Give yourself a nice big round spine. Take your right leg back to stretch out and get some blood flow through the knees and the ankles. And second side, the left leg back. And making our way back to a seat together for our seventh chakra intention, um, which is to sit and connect to the heart of source. And it should feel a little easier to do that as we have connected um, to the heart of earth from the three bottom centers and opened up the heart center where it goes up and it goes down and feeds the three bottoms and it feeds the three top and we'll exchange that energy as we pay a little extra attention and we root and ground down so that we can also at the same time be a conduit for the energy that's coming down for us from above into depositing in towards our crown chakra information for us. Then, then we start to see what it might be and we start to talk about it. We might hear it first and then we'll start to express ourselves about it and then we start to feel it into our heart center and then it starts to kind of turn and churn in towards the third chakra the willpower chakra where we can turn and churn the juices and where it sometimes gets stuck um, so we clear our chakras so that we can manifest it out through the creativity center uh, the second chakra and out through our manifestation chakra, the root chakra. So let's sit together for 20 breaths and connect to the heart of earth so we can also connect to the heart of source and be this nice clear conduit of energy through our body with open pathways that's appropriate for our evolution and being and yoga practice. So let's just take a comfortable seat and maybe root down a little extra and making sure that you have something comfortable to sit on and staying nice and elongated through the spine letting the breath come and go with ease in a nice gentle yin yoga way with just this easeful breathing today Letting the shoulders be relaxed, letting the muscles of the face be relaxed. The color of the crown chakra is purple, goes up higher levels up to clear, pure white. You might be sitting in both.
take seven more breaths here together, one for each energy center, all the way from the root with intention, all the way up towards the crown. We'll take seven Ujjayi ocean breaths, tongue at the roof of the mouth, the breath goes in the back of the throat, and then it covers all the layers. Inhaling. And exhaling. And keep the breath going at your most comfortable pace for six more rounds. slowly come back to normal breathing, bringing your hands in front of your heart. And I want to bring in the sounds of the chakras one round as well. They are Lam for the root, Vam for the second, Ram for the third, Yam for the heart center, and Ham for the throat chakra, and Om for the sixth chakra, and then it's silence at the very top. And then we'll take Shavasana together and end there. Um, bring your hands to the heart if you'd like to join me. We'll take a nice big inhale. Long. so much for joining me today. I hope you feel at ease. I hope you feel comforted. <laughs> and Badger does like the own, um, the chakra sound, so he likes to pop in for that. Um, please do take a Shavasana, and I will see you in the next practice yoga video. There's a little dog love for you. Um, thank you again, and have a great day calm rest of your day. Namaste. Yeah, we'll take Shavasana just like this, Badger. Yeah, we can take Shavasana right here. You're good at Shavasana. Yes, you are. Mm -hmm. That was perfect timing. That was perfect timing. Are your chakras balanced too? Mine are balanced. Mm -hmm.